Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I do hair care videos every Wednesday, skincare every Friday, and home living videos every Sunday. So today's video, sadly, it's not really a hair care video, but it's a hair chat. And it is probably the most embarrassing video I've ever had to put out in my whole natural hair vlogging and blogging experience. So fast forward now, four years later, and I have just damaged it. I have ruined it. I have messed up all of that hard work. So I straightened my hair bank holiday Monday, and the funny thing is, I hadn't straightened my hair all of 2017, and I just thought, the weather's good, it's dry, it's meant to be uh, nice weather for the next couple weeks or so. So I figured, perfect time, straighten my hair, and at least it can last for a week or two um, without getting rained on. And I used the same hair straightener that I've always used, and I use the same temperature that I always use, I use the same blow dryer that I always use, exactly the same as in my very last or very first natural hair straightening video. The only thing that I did differently is twofold, and this is where I'm unsure where exactly I messed up my hair, but I'm sure it's probably a combination of the both. I was in Boots, and I saw a John Frieda three day straight hairspray. It said it was a smoothing, <laughs> just even saying it is so dumb, smoothing hair, hair spray and heat protectant. It doesn't say how much heat it protects up to, you know, like how Tresemme and stuff says protects up to 200 or whatever. It, what it specifically, I guess, was geared at was this idea, you know, it was part of the cur curly range, um, this idea of getting people who had curly hair, getting their hair super smooth and super straight. It's infused with keratin and it's a heat activated keratin thing that gives you smooth, sleek results and it's supposed to last for three days or until your next shampoo. So I used that all over my hair, uh, blow dried it, then straightened it one pass, um, and my hair looked amazing, to be honest. It looked amazing, and I didn't film my hair straightening thing, and I'm glad I didn't now, because that would be more embarrassing, but uh, my hair looked really good. It was thick, um, the cuticle was nice and flat, it was dark, you know, it was really rich in colour. The only issue I had was my ends, but I didn't mind because I thought now that it's straight, I can really see it and I can cut it off. Health over length, I didn't care, even despite the fact that I had done a hair growth challenge video back in February. Um, I thought, well, I'll just update you guys and say I've had to cut a few inches, whatever. So come two weeks later, I'm like, I've enjoyed my hair now but I want to go back to my kinky coils. And I did what I always do, and I shampooed my hair, and this is what happened. Okay, I know what you're thinking. I'm thinking the same thing. Um, I only did one shampoo though, and I feel like I remember the last time I straightened my hair, I had the same issue where it's like, I'm shampooing and like some of it feels like it's not reverting, and then I'm like, I've effed up my hair, and then it was fine after I deep conditioned, so we're gonna continue. <laughs> we're gonna continue. But seriously, if I have to cut off the video because I've friggin' had to cut off my hair, do you know what I mean? It's a bit too soon for all that, so. I was in horrible denial because I, I thought that it was much like the last time I shampooed two years ago, that, you know, it does take a little bit to kind of fully revert, blah, blah, blah. Nope. I had damaged my hair. Um, so straight after that, I did a protein treatment, an Afrogy one, the hard one, and I deep conditioned as well using uh, my really thick deep conditioner. And this is what my hair now looks like. So you can see it's, it's damaged all over. It's damaged all over. It's only like this section here at the very back here that has fully reverted and has its coil back. This side of my hair is the worst affected. This back section, completely bone straight. This side section here, completely bone straight. And it's, again, ironic because in my hair challenge video that I put out, you know, coming, trying to get to BSL, healthy natural hair, 
I said that the front section of my hair was the thing that I really wanted to focus on and now I've completely ruined it. <laughs> I recognise that the second mistake that I made, if it isn't that keratin spray, the second mistake that I made is midway through the week, so I straightened on the Monday, on Wednesday I decided to heat tong it. I had been putting it in roller sets and I got a really beautiful big bouncy blow dry but I wanted kind of those loose looser beach waves because I do like my hair with curls to it with volume to it so I decided to heat tong it and I can't tell you what temperature I used I don't remember but I no doubt was too high of a heat and you know wrapping it around the wand the barrel is probably what also exaggerated the heat damage and restructuring of my hair and my hair strands so I don't know if this video is preemptive because I don't know if I've essentially relaxed my hair with that hair straightening spray because when I talked to my mum about it she was like yeah I've, I've read up it looks like a semi-permanent straightener you know remember a couple years ago they did those stupid seven weeks straight things you know a couple of naturals were promoting these seven weeks straight hair product things and oh and you, once you shampoo your hair reverts and then six months down the line they all said actually it was a mild relaxer my hair pattern completely changed I'm an idiot I've basically done the same thing on a smaller scale and I didn't even think about it I had no reason to even straighten my hair it was vanity it was pure vanity I wanted to see it straight I straightened it I thought my hair could hack it it couldn't I've used some type of keratin thing, I used too much heat, and I've completely ruined my hair. And I I actually was contemplating just deleting the hair challenge video because I thought, well, my hair is completely ruined now. And I'm I'm basically at step one all over again. Um, but I actually think I'm gonna keep it up and my hair growth and hair journey just has to change this time. This is what my hair looks like. I have to have the front section up in some form because it is it is awful it does not blend at all um, as you can see it's super flat I used to have a, no a real nice amount of volume to my hair this is this is almost like having day one hair you can see these strands this bits completely straight yeah see completely straight so it won't even won't even really take on any shape um, I've been living in braids for the past couple of days to, to kind of blend it together. Um, but yeah, I have to have it like protected up here. My edges damaged as well. I didn't actually straighten my edges, but I just think the dryness and everything. So my edges are damaged again. The only good part is this nape back here. That's it. It looks, I mean, I don't think it looks good. I, I, I can tell it's damaged, but I feel like it camouflages at least some of it whilst I'm going through this. And I have, so it's basically one of two things that I think is gonna happen now. It's either that I can somehow reverse this keratin issue, if it is the keratin thing. I don't think all of it's gonna revert, but if I can get a lot more of it to come back, that would be amazing. Or I just have to face facts, it's completely damaged and I have to just start again. And then on top of that, it's like my choices are, I big chop, like I really big chop because this whole thing is straight whereas on this side it's like uh, about three or four inches of damage so I either cut everything off and start again or I transition slowly and you know slowly chop off the damage as I'm going along also my hair stinks it stinks like every time I'm spraying it with water you know when I after I washed it it just smells burn and that's how I just know it's it's not right it's so damaged no kind of product all of my nice smelling as I am's and lemon lemon butters and stuff nothing is covering it it smells damaged and burnt and fried you no know, I haven't done a hair video in a couple of weeks so it was like I either ignore this or I just come on here and I tell you the honest truth and we carry on I really wanted to, had so many great videos planned like uh, what to, what vitamin I use for long healthy hair and 
what I eat in a day for long healthy hair and crap like that and I'm just like they almost feel like if I did them it, it feels a bit fraudulent now let me know if you, you'd still be interested in those videos and perhaps I guess from a damaged perspective that's it my hair is damaged and from now I am going to be doing a treatment every week as opposed to in my hair growth challenge regimen it was once a month it's gonna be something every week I'm gonna be deep conditioning till my arm falls off um, and my videos are just going to take a slight turn on this unfortunate new path and um, lots of prayer <laughs> so pray for me and um, yeah just a little bit changed and a little bit more focused but this has taught me some humility and humbled me because I took my hair for granted to be honest once it reached a certain length I just kind of took it for granted <laughs> I personified my hair but at the same time as well um, I am not my hair so this kind of thing will happen it does happen it was fun it was fun whilst it lasted it was to straighten my hair and see how long it had gotten and feel happy with the health of it even though underneath you know what was coming you know natural 85 even had her damage as well so and look how amazingly and beautifully her hair has recovered so it's just a new path a new journey i hope you follow along and join along if you've got this far you definitely should subscribe um because we're definitely going to see where this goes and all the experiments out there for me to try and see what i can repair and how far i can actually stimulate growth going forward Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.